Hello everyone, today I'm here to show you something different. This is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus MGU502 that we reviewed not too long ago. I will link at the top right corner there. And I'm here today to show you something really special because we did mention that the RGB on this laptop is really beautiful and today we're going to show you why. So firstly, I'm just going to launch the Armory Crate software here. This software is built into every single ASUS ROG and Tough Gaming laptops. So as you can see here, there are a lot of different options which I am not going to cover today. I'm just going to jump straight to Aura Sync here. As you can see here, the only compatible device that can sync with Aura Sync is the GU502GU which is this laptop. So heading on to Aura Effects, you can see it's pretty standard here. You have a total of 9 different color modes here. So you have Static Breathing, Strobing. Color Cycle, Rainbow, Starry Night, Music, Smart and Dark. And then down here, under Advanced Effects, here it says that you have to use Aura Creator software to make this lighting effect. So Aura Creator, I downloaded this on the Windows 10 App Store. So yes, this is free for all the laptops out there. You can download this and then you can hit on to this menu here. So I'm just going to select 25% to see the entirety of the laptop. Actually, no, 50% is perfect. So this software is actually really powerful. So to begin, let me just select this arrow key cluster here and I'm just going to click set as layer and you can see layer 1 is currently at the timeline here. So then I'm going to select uh, rain uh, color cycle. Let's just go for color cycle. Just going to drag it there and within here I can customize it to be fast. Okay. Then after that, um, I'm just going to give it like this amount of time then I'm going to go for breathing which I'm just going to give it breathing for one second and breathing color I want it to be let's just go for green and once again fast and I have set the RGB only for the arrow key cluster to have Color cycle for 2 seconds at first and then after that go for breathing for another 1 second and then it will loop itself when this timeline is done. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to save and apply. I'm just going to say this, uh, okay, demo 1. And I'm just going to save and apply demo 1. So you can see the arrow cluster did what I set it to do. Color cycle first for 2 seconds and then go for breathing for another one second. And right here, this is something really special because I can manually set per key RGB here so I can go for, let's just say, I just want to select the whole keyboard to go for uh, set as layer, uh, color cycle. Then I'm just gonna go slow on this whole set of keys, but my priority will still be the arrow keys to have what I set it here. So I'm just going to drag it down, save and apply. And now you can see all the keys here are slowly color cycling. But my arrow key cluster is still as what I set before. This is how layering works. So the top layer will take priority. And if I drag it down here, now the whole thing just color cycles for the whole 3 seconds. And the higher layer here, despite of its name, is taking priority. So if I drag back layer 1 to the top, click save and apply and you can see that all the other keys are in low color cycling mode but only my arrow key cluster is what I set here. And what's interesting about this is that you technically have per key RGB with a very different effect depending on what time you set. So for example, I'm just going to select the spacebar no, not space bar, it's not that obvious. Um, this entire row, that is layer. Then I'm just going to have them to go strobing. And let's just go strobing for 3 seconds. Two colors and uh, blue and red is fine. Again, save and apply and you can see it took effect straight away. So to avoid confusion, I think I should set it to name like a for this entire row, let's just go for... There we go. And for layer 1, this is our arrow key cluster. So I'm just going to double click here and say... 
arrow keys and layer 2 should be there we go this i think this is a lot more concise on what we are trying to do here and well if you want you can go extra crazy on it you can have only these keys So I'm holding shift and clicking each and every key here to select it and there we go I have the entire number row selected and I'm just going to set a layer and with this I'm just going to rename it to numbers and what do I want the number to do let's just go with static I think static is good uh, I don't like this color I'm going to go turquoise and save and apply So these are the effects that you can do with Aura Creator and this is only on the Zephyrus MGU502 itself. You can do this if you have even more peripherals. Imagine if you have the ASUS motherboard, ASUS mouse, ASUS keyboard, ASUS monitor. You can sync up everything and you can customize your lighting through the Aura Creator itself. And I think this is a very powerful software although there's a steep learning curve but if you're coming from a video editor's perspective like mine, when I saw this, I immediately think of Premiere Pro because this is exactly the same concept and I think the learning curve is pretty much something that you need to go through because video editing is not simple and you have to grasp the idea of how to rearrange the timeline and also set how long of each effect you want it to be. So once you get a hang of it, you can do a lot of crazy stuff. For me, I'm just going to settle for something simple. I have it here, which is called LOL. So what I have here is color cycle through these column of buttons here and static for all four individual LEDs on the spacebar. There are four of them here. So each of them will take a single color and overall keyboard will be in rainbow mode. So this is what I set for the keyboard right now, the laptop actually, and I find it to be real pleasing and you can also adjust the brightness on the keyboard itself by hitting FN and arrow key down. So if you want to go to the full brightness, you can do that as well. And that is all we have to share about the Aura Creator. If you have any questions, please do leave down in the comment section below. We do go through every single comment and we will try to help you if you have any issues going into this software. And I hope you have a really nice day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.